Hi everyone, this is Sean Levick again. Today we're going to be looking at how to develop a NDVI time series with Modus data. So far in the course we've been doing this with Landsat, but of course Modus gives us a much richer time series at a lower spatial resolution, of course. Now, the basis of this prac, I'm going to be using this great tutorial, um, which you can find on the web, on the, the Google Earth Engine documentation under the training material. This one was developed by the International Research Institute for Climate and Society, Earth Institute at Columbia University. And it's a really nice tutorial. It goes through, gives some background on MODIS NDVI. And this is case study five in our, in our um, course documentation. Now, You'll see as you go through here, the study is focused on Brazil. And the first thing I wanted to point out is that it shows us in here how to call a feature table containing the boundaries of all the countries in the world. So the way they import this in the script is by using this variable region, creating a variable called region, and then querying um, a Google fusion table with all the countries, uh, filtering by looking in the, the columns for countries and pulling out Brazil, and then adding only that to the map. Now, what I've done is I've copied out that, that script and loaded it into our working folder, case study five. So you can open that up here, but I made a few, few changes for us. So the first, um, first step is to choose country of interest using Google Earth Engine feature collection. So that's the name of the um, feature collection, fusion table, filter by metadata. But I've decided for today, let's rather look at Indonesia instead of Brazil. So I've just typed Indonesia country equals Indonesia and map add layer region, our variable name is region, so we want region to be Indonesia. Next up we're going to collect data and filter by total dates. The variable modus NDVI is going to call up the modus NDVI data set from the Earth Engine Image Collection. Just to show you what that is again, if we search for modus NDVI you'll see that we have a combined 16-day composite NDVI and you can see the, the name of the image collection here and this relates to the name that we're pulling up here. In previous um, scripts we've been importing the collection as, as a variable up front but here we're just calling it directly which is easy to do as long as you know the, the name of the collection you want. Now we're going to build two time series. The first is going to be slightly higher temporal resolution to January 2015 to the end of 2016. And then a slightly shorter time series from January 2016 to December 2016. We're going to clip these image collections to a specified region using the mean function, mean clip. These are all clipped to region, which is Indonesia in our case. And then we're going to plot two charts. The first um, important thing to point out is we're using the reduce, reducer mean function in these charts. So we are looking um, at two, remember we're plotting two different time series. The first relates to collection that spans two years and the second the collection that just spans one year. These are our commands for plotting the chart, and this is using a series by region call. And let's give that a run and see what we have. Run, something's happening in the console. Let's look there. We're generating these two different charts. Um, if I move this a bit, you can see first up, polygon layer loading over Indonesia. We've clipped the modus archive 
by these boundaries and plotted NDVI over time. And you can see that this lower graph um, is just a, a zoomed in portion of the second graph. So these are at two different scales. One spans two years, another just spans one year. Um, this is a great tool. If you're working on a global scale, looking at country type scales, um, very useful. But what if we were interested in just a small area in Australia, like um, let's say the very northern parts. Well, we've been up in the Cape before. Let's zoom in a little bit closer along the Great Barrier Reef. Actually, let's search for, for Cairns in Queensland. Let's zoom there. Here's the city of Cairns. Some nice rainforest in that region. So let's say we were interested in understanding the modus NDVI time series in a polygon like this. How would we go about it? Well, we've created a variable geometry and this is our region of interest. Now, the real beauty of working with these kinds of JavaScript scripts is that this is a lovely code um, that's, that was developed in that tutorial for plotting NDVI time series from MODIS at country scale. But if we don't want to work at country scale, all we need to do is comment out these lines using command forward slash. And that means that these lines will not be processed. Now, if we try and run our code now, it's not going to work because region is not defined in this scope. And that's because we've commented out the lines that call up the country shapefile. However, we have a geometry which we're interested in. So we just can rename that variable geometry, rename it region. And now our script is going to utilize this little box as our region of interest. So now we can just run the code and this takes, this is a little bit faster. So there's a much shorter time interval. Let's just switch that off. You can see we have this little block here and we have the NDVI time series for a two year period and for a one year period. And this is really flexible because as soon as we have this as a geometry, we can very easily select that I've drawn quite a small one here, but we could just delete that. And so we were interested in somewhere like, um, let's come down somewhere around the Great Western Woodlands of Australia. Well, let's, let's look at this agricultural landscape. We can just draw a large polygon. It's still called region exit the um, drawing tools, hit the run button, query the archive and return the NDVI time series. Much smoother series down, down here, much less cloud interference compared to the one we explored up in the north. Also a much larger area that we're exploring now. Um, other things to show you is that here we're looking at one year and this was two years. We could expand that out a bit. Let's try go 2010, 2016. Let's run that. Might take a little bit longer to process. First up will be the shorter time series. We're down in um, southwestern Australia, winter rainfall region. So we get the peak in the, the middle of the year. Um, and a up in the top now, we can see NDVI over the longer time series. So really handy script and fantastic tools developed by the Google Earth Engine team. So that's all for today. I hope you found that useful and um, good luck with your assignments.